Hi, I'm Rosewells1984. Welcome to my Liquid Story Binders tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the preferences menu of the program. And so basically, we're going to start with the View Preferences option. And this is a way that you can toggle your settings within the program. Um, as you can see, most of it is fairly straightforward. You can customize the program to your leisure as you go through each of the options. Um, I'm going to go through a few things um, with you in terms of what each of these um, menus do and just basically um, gloss over them. So you can turn on the one click file open feature that's fairly straightforward. You can snap your windows into position they automatically snap um, within the window you're working with. You can automatically center new windows as you're opening them. You can disable lost window centering. That's usually when you're working between multiple windows and um, if you don't want it to automatically center when you're going through um, each window, you can disable that. You can auto size images to um, make them easier to display. You can disable the update notification box. That's whenever you save um, your uh, file within the program, the, a little flash um, box um, tells you um, 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 wh when you saved or um, what other options you've um, done within the program. Um, Auto document focus allows you to um, center and see a doc document within the window. Auto capitalize titles and captions, that's pretty straightforward. Simplified thesaurus as opposed to the uh, complex thesaurus you can just use to display the um, words you're working with instead of using the words in context with the sentence that's highlighted. Image scro scroll bars which is self-explanatory and confirm close. Let's see Formatting options line notes offset you can toggle those um, options you can auto indent new paragraphs auto and separate new paragraphs auto word select you can use smart quotes and smart capitalize which automatically align um, the quotes on in your sentences and capitalize certain words if you're beginning a new sentence you can use single sp uh, space word cleaning um, that's pretty self-explanatory. You can also disable auto text complete and jump words. Jump words are basically um, words that allow you to jump from one document to the next. Uh, menu display options. You can hide um, any number of menus that are within this toolbar up here. And that's up to you um, as to how many um, drop down menus you want in your um, menu display. Toolbars and status bars. This basically um, has to do with the chapter mode of the program. You can hide the document toolbars. You can use simple document toolbars or you can toggle it um, the toolbar for to display either horizontally or vertically. Usually I use horizontal because it's easier for me to use it. Um, reminds me of a standard uh, word processing program. Um, you can also hide document status bars which um, shows you how many um, words you've typed, the line that you're on, that kind of thing. Um, you can hide document color bars which allows you to change the text color within the chapter mode of the program. You can hide the quick find bars which is a little text box on the bottom of the chapter mode of the program where you can find words just by typing it in. You can hide hints and tool tips at your leisure. You can hide the taskbar or you can minimize the taskbar and that's just the taskbar that's in on the bottom right hand corner of your screen of the program. Color screen compatibility that has to do with um, toggling the colors that you use within each of these modes of the program. It's fairly straightforward. I usually keep it this intact because I like to color code. <laughs> Um, full screen options. Um, you can have full screen scroll bars if you'd like and you can toggle the um, margins to um, whatever position you want. Outline preferences. You can change the item width and size at your leisure. 
gallery, same thing. You can maximize the gallery thumbnail size to um, make it display in your gallery, um, the images display in your gallery um, properly. Or you can show gallery thumbnail file captions, which list the, usually the title of the file and that kind of thing. Sequence preferences is straightforward. You can adjust the width of each column. So the storyboard card width that's um, and height you can um, toggle within this um, feature you can wrap word wrap storyboard items so they're easier to display in the menu timeline preferences straightforward adjusting height and width typewriter preferences I use this um, feature a lot um, and you can enable backspace key editing um, by default it's not um, available just to make it more challenging but if you want you can change that here you can also automatically save typewriter changes that you put into your documents um, for automatic save I usually auto save every minute that's because I don't want to lose my work but you can also ch turn this feature off or designate it in 5, 10, 20 or every hour and you can also auto save changes when you close a particular mode in your program. Statistics and timers, that has to do with those particular modes of the program. You can have it where writing activates the pause timers. You can pause timers while you're planning your story. You can exclude builders, journals, and cut and paste from your global statistics if you wish. And for the backups, the last um, feature of the preferences menu, you can um, back up your files um, and toggle the settings with that. For the um, latest version of Liquid Story Binder XE 4.81, the designation of book was changed to binder. So this is basically um, changing um, whatever you do when you create a new binder, um, just to update the terminology. Um, you can um, toggle a quick binder backup including your media files, um, add the date to the title, you can um, designate where you want to um, keep your backup folder. I usually keep it on my flash drive. Um, you can disable automatic chapter backups or enable automatic builder entry backups which makes it easier for people who primarily use builders to build their chapters and you can also have a backup of your book at every end of session which is basically when you um, exit out of the program or exit out of the um, current binder that you're working on so those are the basics the other um, options you have in the preferences menu you can toggle your dictionaries which let me move this over slightly so you can see that menu You can change the language of your dictionary and also change your dictionary editor in this particular thing. And you can choose, um, toggle the document editor, viewer, image editor, and audio player that you use um, when you're opening external applications with respect to the program. And you would just um, click on either one of these and um, click on the exe file of the program you want to choose for your defaults. So those are the basics for the preferences menu in Liquid Story Binder XE. I'm Rosebells1984 and I'll see you next video.